Hi Capricorn, this is your February mid-month tarot reading. We'll have three separate spreads in this mid-month reading. The first spread will be on love. It could be any love, new existing love from the past, whatever comes up. The second spread will be some good news for you for the next, uh, say, couple of weeks. And uh, the third spread is uh, an advice for you Capricorn for the remainder of February. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is on love, and to be honest with you Capricorn, it could be any type of love, existing new love from the past. I will elaborate in just a second, but we've got the uh, King of Swords, clarified by the Six of Wands, we have the Sun, uh, then we have the Two of Cups, clarified by the Three of Cups, in the potential outcome we have the Ace of Cups with the Nine of Cups and the Six of Cups, and uh, we also have the Chariot on the bottom of the deck, you could be dealing with an uh, Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, we also have Leo, and uh, Cancer, but you could be dealing with pretty much any zodiac sign. Yeah, the very first card I came out is the King of Swords, right? I usually go with the King or Queen, right? the Emperor and the Empress, if any show up. So yes, the very first card I came out is a court card. Really happy for you, because <laughs> not every single reading gets a court card. So yes, this King of Swords could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or somebody with a lot of air in their chart. If they're not an air sign, this is somebody who is very intelligent, Right, they could be wearing a uniform for work, they could be a doctor, a lawyer, somebody who has to think for work, right? And uh, what's interesting, there, there are a couple of things, more, more than a couple of things that caught my attention, right? But there are two cards in the tarot deck that could be interpreted as cards of victory, success, triumph. Both of them are on the table. One of them is clarifying that King of Swords, the Six of Wands, that's one of them. And the second one is the chariot on the bottom of the deck. Both of them are victory, success, triumph cards. All right. Another thing that caught my eye is that the six of cups right next to the deck, the last card that came out in the potential outcome. It's a soulmate card, but it's also a card of somebody from the past. I don't recall ever seeing the six of cups in the potential outcome. So this could be a very unique reading. It could be somebody from your past, the two of you could be moving back to where the two of you grew up, <laughs> or one of you grew up, or it's simply a soulmate card. It could be a confirmation that yes, this is your soulmate, because uh, uh, the two of cups kind of in the middle right there is also a soulmate card. So it's just the way of the universe for some of you to confirm, yes, this is your soulmate, just like I said with that two of cups. Okay, one other thing I noticed about this reading, it's a very happy, very emotional reading. Emotions in terms of happy emotions, right? The Two of Cups in the middle is, um, is all about emotions. It's a very loving card. It's a card of unconditional love. It's a card of when two people feel the same way uh, towards one another. The Three of Cups clarifying it is a card of a, some kind of a celebration or a union, right? And I usually assume that people are happy when they celebrate, okay? The Sun to the left from the Queen of... from the... Two of Cups, then to in, right next to that King of Swords, the Sun could be a Leo, you know, but the Sun is the happiest card in the deck, right? The happiest card in the deck. With the Sun card, we always feel on top of the world, we always feel loved, we always feel like we've succeeded in life, okay? The Nine of Cups in the middle of the potential outcome, it's a card of a wish come true. And it's also a card of personal satisfaction and fulfillment. And again, I usually assume that people are happy when their wishes are being granted. The Ace of Cups, the first card in the potential outcome, is all about love, true, genuine, authentic love. And again, <laughs> I assume people are happy when they're, when they're in love. Yeah, so in general, this is a very loving spread. And very, very happy spread. Alright, so if this King of Swords is an Aquarius, perhaps... It has something to do with their birthday party. You could have met this person at, a, at their birthday party. Perhaps they were throwing a huge birthday party and they invited friends and, f and friends of friends. And perhaps you came along, you were plus one. You came there with a friend. For others of you, perhaps their birthday is still up, uh, you know, coming up because we have um, maybe a week left in the Aquarius birthday season. Hence the Three of Cups because it could be a card of a celebration, right? And uh, if it's their birthday, then it's their ce they're celebrating their birthday. If this person is not an Aquarius, there could still be some kind of an event upcoming, coming up. But uh, like I said, with the Six of Wands clarifying the King of Swords and that chariot on the bottom of the deck, they feel um, like they're, perhaps they just recently achieved something in their life. And they feel like, yes, 
I've just achieved this. Yes, I just made a lot of money. Yes, I'm on the next level up and uh, perhaps I'm ready for a serious commitment because now I can afford it. Now I've reached the status. And uh, they're coming towards you with this attitude that yes, let's uh, let's spend the rest of our lives together. It's not a cocky energy when that six of wands. No, it's just that this person feels very confident about this. They could be feeling very confident about you, <laughs> spending the rest of their life with you. Okay, for some of you, if uh, you are already with this King of Swords, if this is somebody who is. Uh, somebody who is you're in a, in a relationship with. You guys could be taking it to the next level, right? Because the Six of Wands used to be called the Proposal Card, and perhaps that's what's coming up. I'm recording this uh, a couple of days before, um, before our favorite holiday, <laughs> the St. Valentine's Day, perhaps. They've prepared something for St. Valentine's Day, or maybe for another occasion uh, in the second half of February, I don't know, let me know in the comments down below. But uh, yeah, this is a very happy, very loving spread, very uplifting, very energetic spread, right? Uh, it's like it's like a huge celebration, all right? Really happy for you, uh, Capricorn, congratulations. Here's some good news for you, uh, Capricorn, uh, for the next couple of weeks. We have the Three of Wands, clarified by the Six of Pentacles. We have the Page of Wands, uh, the Devil, clarified by the Nine of Pentacles. And uh, we also have the Ace of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with pretty much any zodiac sign. We have fire, a lot of fire, right? Um, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. It, it feels like you're being chosen or selected for something, Capricorn, and you will feel proud of yourself. Right, that Nine of Pentacles, I find the Devil, the Devil is your major arcana card, and the Nine of Pentacles is how you will feel about this, right? It's a good card. It's, it really is. It's a card of somebody who is in the center of attention. It's a card of somebody who is glowing up, somebody who feels like you're valued, somebody who is in demand, <laughs> right? Um, and uh, you will feel like, yeah, yeah, I deserve it. That's how you will feel. Okay, but it's a kind of it's some kind of a new beginning, right? The Ace of Wands on the bottom of the deck is a is a very passionate new beginning, uh, but uh, you know it could you could be passionate about some kind of a work project or a new job that you're getting. It could be um, like you're being appointed to go somewhere, represent the company, or you could be uh, promoted or something like that, right? The Three of Wands clarified by the Six of Pentacles, this is what's happening perhaps right now, right? The Three of Wands is a card of somebody who made up their mind, somebody who made a decision, and the Six of Pentacles clarifying it. Every once in a while the Six of Pentacles comes through as a card of a choice. You see how there are three people in the Six of Pentacles, so the one standing in the middle could be choosing between two. But uh, it doesn't feel like love, to be honest with you. Like I said, it's most likely work-related. So they're choosing you, they're selecting you, they're giving you this, all right, giving you this opportunity because, again, you deserve it. The, the page of once in the middle, it's a message. They're notifying you, they're letting you know that you're the one. And the ace of wands, again, it's that uh, new passionate beginning. So I think you're going to be really excited about this and, again, you'll feel proud of yourself and you'll feel like, yes, I deserve it, all right? Cool. Here's an advice for you, Capricorn, for uh, the remainder of February. We have uh, the Three of Cups, clarified by the Ace of Cups. We have the Sun. Uh, we have the Ace of Pentacles, clarified by the Nine of Pentacles. And uh, we have the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. I got a confession to make, Capricorn. It took me a quick second. It took me a quick second, because this spread has the elements of both previous spreads. And I was trying to connect the dots. <laughs> I was like, maybe one is somehow associated with the other. Right, and because uh, I was looking at the spread from the advice perspective, from the advice point of view, and then it hit me, then it dawned on me. The advice for you, Capricorn, as I see it, is enjoy, enjoy life, Capricorn. That's the advice. This spread really does have the elements of both: the first spread and the second spread. Right, uh, we got the Three of Cups, the Ace of Cups, the Sun, and then we have that Ace of Pentacles with the Nine of Pentacles. Right, the first three cards have to do with the uh, first spread and uh, the Ace of Pentacles with the Nine of Pentacles have to do with the, uh, with the good news spread. The Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck, yeah, <laughs> things are turning, turning around for you Capricorn. That's what, the, that's what I think this means with that Wheel of Fortune. It's, uh, tur things are turning around for you. So enjoy, don't question it. You know, perhaps you could be like, 
Uh, what's going on? Why is everything so good? Why am I falling in love? This person is falling in love with me. Why is, is there happiness everywhere? Why am I getting that promotion? Or why am I getting that job? Or why am I being recognized at work? You know, you deserve it. <laughs> that, yeah, but it took me a quick second to figure this one out. Just enjoy. That, I think that's the advice for you, Capricorn. Alright, so uh, that's uh, what I have for you for this reading, for this uh, time period. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Capricorn, have an amazing the rest of February.